Hey guys, so I'm going to walk you through the process of how you can reset the stats for a funnel. So let's say that you've been working in your funnel and um, you've been opening it up and checking it out and you've got 122 views, 11 unique, and then you've submitted some um, test leads through, right? So, which I do suggest that you want to go ahead and submit some test leads for your funnel first before you actually launch it. But um, if you really want to reset the stats that way when you're ready to make this go live on social media, um, here is how you can do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the config tab, which you can get to from two different places. Right here on the dashboard, you can click on this little uh, config button here that looks kind of like an abacus. So that's one way. Or if you clicked into the funnel itself, you're going to have the config tab right there. Um, if I go back here, if I click in here, this is going to take me directly to the config tab. And I bypass before where it was just showing pages, leads, and config. It's already uh, defaulting here to config. Uh, but from before where I clicked from the dashboard to the uh, to the funnel via, let me just show you that real quick, where I just clicked into the link here, it brought me to pages, right? So you can just toggle back and forth. Um, that It's just a, a matter of convenience for you in terms of how you want to get to that config screen, right? But anyways, what you want to do is you want to copy your funnel. So on the config screen, if you go to scroll down the page here and select copy, this is just going to copy your entire website. So let's go ahead and copy this. And so now I've got this copy, right? So um, this, this was my original. I could keep this if I wanted to. Maybe I want to keep it as like a template and I can reuse it later for other funnels. Or I can keep this and maybe if I want to make a change here um, and test it out before I actually make the change over on my live funnel, right? Um, but anyways, um, so I got my copy here. Now the next step is I need to change my subdomain. You can see here that uh, Facebook, or sorry, phone sites gave me um, this additional text that's added in here after the subdomain. And perhaps I don't want that. Um, so just to let you know though, what you'll need to do is you'll need to update this, but if you wanted to use the same subdomain that you were using before, um, you're going to have to either delete the site or go in and rename this. And the reason for that is just because um, your subdomain has to be unique. You can't use the same subdomain um, that's already in existence. So let's just, for the sake of it, let's go ahead and let's just rename this. So I'm going to go ahead and go into config here. And let's just say that this is now my template that I'll use for later, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then now I want to go ahead and go into that copy. And now I can rename that Joy Tattoos, right? So let's go into config here. And we can save this. And I actually should have renamed the, the funnel itself here too, right? <clears throat> and there you go. So now you have a funnel that uh, it's ready, it's good to go, it has no views, no leads or anything like that. Now I could go ahead and uh, copy my link here and then go put this on Facebook. Alright guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I hope this was beneficial.